Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot and this is your September 2021 love reading. For those of you who are in a relationship, if you are single and looking for love, please go and check out the singles readings that are already posted for you. So let's see what we've got coming in for you guys. So we'll cover anyone that's in a relationship, whether it's a uh, newer one or a longer term one and also if it comes up anyone who is in a temporary separation with somebody as well so let's see where we go here just a reminder of course these are general readings thank you so not everything will resonate with all of you just take what does and leave the rest behind all right so let's see what came out first we have between worlds okay and we also have time to go hmm Interesting. You know, I'm not sure what it what it is with the air signs in this in these readings, but um, uh, some of you are really making some significant change in your life. When we have between worlds, this is the energy of being not quite done with one situation and not quite fully engrossed in the other. So either you may, some of you may be at a point in your relationship where you need to jump in with both feet. Okay. You may be waffling between a higher level of commitment or keeping things status quo. But when we have between worlds, it's like you're half in the past and half in the future and not necessarily enjoying the present moment. Okay. Taking each day as it comes, right? It's that indecision. Okay. Do I want to stay where I am or do I want to look forward? Is the future bright and shiny or is everything kind of okay the way it is? So there may be a need there for you to get some more information to do some introspection. Um, you may even need to address your worries, your doubts, your fears, right? In, uh, in some way, but the between worlds, it's like, almost like one step forward, one step back, two steps forward, one step back as well. And it's really interesting that this card comes out with the time to go energy. Okay. Um, some of you may be at a hmm, how should we, ultimatum stance with your person. Okay. Because the time to go, you know, that saying, right? Sometimes if you let something go, if it's meant to be, it'll come back to you. All right, so maybe you're at the point where you need to release something. It could be because if you and your person can't come to an agreement on a commitment, it just might be there's external circumstances or maybe one of you isn't ready, okay? Or maybe you just have your spidey senses going on alert that maybe something is not meant to be forever, right? Maybe they were just here for a short time and you may be willing to let something go, all right? And trusting in the knowledge that, you know, if they were meant to be that they'll come back. Okay. So some of you may actually be in a temporary separation from your person. You may already have let them go, go explore the world, go explore yourself. Why don't you just go and think about things for a while? Because I'm ready to move forward and I'm ready to jump in with both feet and I'm ready to take that leap. And if you're not, then you know what? Something's got to go. Something's got to change because there's not really a lot of bright and shiny left in our current state. Something's got to evolve. The time to go energy can also be about letting go of expectations and go with the flow. All right. And just trust that things will progress and things move forward, but you might not necessarily know what the future holds. You might not need to know what the future holds. Okay. And we just need to move forward and we just need to trust that things will evolve exactly as they are meant to. All right. And, you know, kind of face the future with open arms and open eyes, but also get rid of um, any preconceived expectations, because sometimes those can actually hold you back. Right. And especially if, you know, you're at a point in your relationship where you're talking um, higher level of commitment or, you know, you might have differing views or opinions on what that means. And not everybody is interested in the, you know, the traditional marriage structure, okay, or the typical family unit structure even either, right? Sometimes people dance to the beat of your own drum and that might not necessarily be part of, you know, what you were wanting or expecting. And it's not that there's anything necessarily bad. So in order to progress, right, there might be some sort of expectations that need to, um, that need to be um, released, <clears throat> okay? So uh, let me see how my, okay, benefiting you. 
All right, betting fit, benefiting you for the month ahead. We've got the lover's card and we also have strength card coming in here as well. So the lover's card is absolutely beautiful. Gemini energy, this is your energy. And we also have strength coming in here with Leo energy. So this is a time where if you want your love to evolve to a higher level, then this is true love coming in. This is a time for love to blossom and grow. This is also the time to where you may be able to repair the relationship, okay? If you're on bumpy ground or it, even if you have already let someone go, sent them off, all right? The strength card here, this is a pillar, but the pillar is broken, okay? But this person here is holding that pillar, all right? So even though you may have some cracks in your relationship, even though you may have some issues in your relationship, you have the ability to hold it together should you desire, because your commitment and your bond is actually really strong with this person, okay? And you have the ability to come together in partnership, in harmony, okay? That blossoming love that you may have for your person and your relationship, <clears throat> excuse me. And you have the ability to overcome challenges and hurdles. However, the lover's card also used to be called the choice. Choices in love. You may have some choices to make and you are trying to make them in this relationship, in this connection, right? And we already see that with your between worlds and your time to go. Is this meant for me? There's some chinks in the chain here, right? And can we overcome that for the future, right? Will crazy glue or some, you know, uh, or some, you know, duct tape hold that pillar together for the long term or is it time to let go? right? You may, so you may really be facing a little bit of a dilemma and some choices there in regards to your relationship, right? Um, because the strength card in this deck is number 11. 11. 11 is a soul path number. 11 is also a number that you are being very much guided on your path. And <clears throat> excuse me, it can also be the number of new beginnings, so if you choose to let go and if you choose not to move forward with a relationship or if you choose to let something go, okay, in the hopes that maybe something will transpire later on, this is showing you that there, if you let one thing go, don't worry because there's other things on the horizon for you, okay? It's not, <clears throat> it's not the only relationship that is available to you. In the future, it could have just run its natural course and served its purpose. So let's see what the challenge is in the whoa, month ahead. And we've got the moon energy coming out. So we've got Pisces energy. The moon is all about bringing things to the surface, bringing things to the light, seeing things that have been kept hidden um, into the light of the day, shining a flashlight, if you will. All right, this is also about turning fantasies into reality, right? Facing the music in some sort of way. So <clears throat> it could be here that, um, you know, someone is keeping their feelings hidden, their true feelings hidden. Um, sometimes it's easier to, uh, sometimes it's easier to walk away than it is to admit how someone really feels. There may be also a challenge of facing fears, right? Sometimes people really do have a fear of commitment, a fear of um, being too attached to someone, afraid of love, afraid of, um, you know, long-term marriage, right? Afraid of having kids, okay? All of those things, those fears, those worries, those doubts, they come bubbling up to the surface and we can either address them and deal with them or we can ignore them, and then eventually the inevitable may happen. But with the moon, there can also be a reluctance there, okay, to see the truth of a situation. Because sometimes it's easier for us to be in a little bit of a fantasy land about something. So, let's see what your overall benefits are. What is the outcome in this situation? We've got justice. Now, in this particular deck, justice is number eight, not number 11. But you have both of them coming out here. And when we have justice, this is balance restored. This is that sort of truth of honesty, of being judged in the situation, but having a positive outcome. 
All right, truth, truth and karma really lead the way. So you've really got some good karma on your side. All right, and you have the ability to restore peace and balance and harmony in your relationship. Okay, and to move to the next level, the next stage, the next phase, should you require it. The justice, the sword of just, justice there, that truth, that honesty, um, has it brings with it the ability to face your fears, to get things out in the open, to lay all of your cards on the table, and to really address everything within your relationship the way it's, uh, you know, the way it's meant to be and let the chips fall where they may. But the justice energy is a very positive energy. Okay, so wherever, whatever it is that you are looking to achieve, that has you achieving it. So whether you restore uh, your connection with your person, whether you take that little bit of a jump into the next stage of something with your person or not, okay? You will come out on top. You will come out in the end, okay? And you will come out in a very positive way, all right? And, you know, when we have that moon energy where uh, someone may be living in a little bit of a fantasy world, right? Sometimes we do get in the honeymoon phase of a relationship, and uh, which is a very great phase, right? Um, but sometimes we get stuck in that money moon phase and you know, we come to that point where it needs to progress and move forward, right? And sometimes we're not entirely sure how to do that, okay? Because ultimately, we can be afraid of what the outcome might be. And so it's a challenge. Some people have a challenge to review, review uh, reveal, thank you, their true feelings, get those out in the open, right? They could have had some very traumatic past experiences. You may have had traumatic past experiences where you maybe have expressed your true feelings to a person, your expressions of love with that lover's card, right? And you've been shot down at the knees, right? It's like, oh, I love you. And someone comes back and maybe says, oh yeah, thanks, you know, or something like that. Or they don't say it back. Ouch, right? Painful. <clears throat> So, but ultimately the lover's card there is soulmate energy. And, uh, you know, when it comes to soulmates, we may have a really strong bond, a really strong connection. Some of our soulmates are meant to be here for a lifetime. Some others are here for a reason or a season. And you may need to decide which one that is. And again, a lot of you can likely move forward, okay? And you can get your cards out on the table and you can have honest discussions and you can make the choice that is right for you. You can, um, you know, maintain those strong bonds with your person and you can achieve that level of balance and harmony, right? You can face your fears. Your person can face their fears and you move forward. You leave the time to go is about releasing anything that has been holding you back, from this relationship. Okay. But others of you, you may come to the realization that no, you know what, even though this person is a soulmate for me, okay, they are maybe not meant to be with me for a lifetime. And as painful and as difficult as that decision is to make, or that conclusion is difficult to come to, ultimately, that may actually be the truth behind that. Okay, so a little bit little bit challenging for a couple of you um but i don't think that it's anything that may, that is necessarily a surprise and you do have that sort of justice that truth that is on your side okay now the justice card also does highlight um legal situations as well okay so the between worlds and the time to go could very much be in relation to either you or your person clearing out um, legal situations from a past relationship. So you may be wrapping up, um, you know, uh, divorce proceedings, custody battles, maybe even, um, you know, maybe even a legal situation with a previous employer, something like that. And until that is resolved, you can't move forward. But there is solutions at hand and justice will ultimately prevail and there will be judgments there um, that restore your faith, okay, and allow you to make decisions to move forward. That particular justice card being number eight um, does represent abundance as well. All right, so let's have a look and see what we've got here. We've got the three of needles right in the middle of your reading there. Um, we have the messenger, 
five of needles in reverse. Uh, which one is this? The king of matches, which is the king of wands, by the way. We have inner journey. We've got the eight of cups. The page of buttons, which is the page of pentacles. And we have the wheel of fortune. There we go. Okay. That hand of fate, karma, destiny is very much on your side. You've got some really positive energy that is on your side. I think if you have a situation that you're dealing with, I think it's temporary. I think you're going to find a resolution. Oh, I'm going to look and see what is at the bottom of your deck as well. And we actually have the world card in reverse. Something's not done. All right, this is the energy that you're not necessarily seeing. And that's ultimately the energy that is uh, hiding underneath the surface, okay, that is assisting you um, in some way. So when we have the world in reverse, that's a situation that's not done. There's unfinished business, okay? There's something that hasn't been fulfilled, all right? There is, um, you know, either a need to get closure in a situation, Okay, possibly those uh, legal proceedings that some of you have. Um, it may be that if you have already let your person go, okay, um, there's a chance here for reconciliation with that. I gotta say, because it is coming up, all right? Um, and if you are looking to move forward with a relationship, right, there's something that, again, needs to come out, needs to get uh, um, into the light, right, from that moon energy, something that needs to be really addressed to come to the surface. Um, fears, doubts, worries, feelings, all of those things. And that way you can complete that cycle and you can move forward, okay, with your person. All right. So there is a little bit of grief here, okay? We do have the three of needles, which is the current situation in your relationship right now. So there is some sort of loss, some heartbreak um, that's going on here, okay? A little bit of sorrow, a little bit of sadness, and again, for some of you, it's absolutely temporary. The Three of Swords, yes, it is a little bit of a difficult energy. However, it is temporary, okay? Temporary sadness, temporary grief and suffering could be due to that legal situation that hasn't wrapped up yet. It's causing a little bit of grief, right? It could be that you are needing to release something, okay? Get something out in the open that's been a little bit of a challenge, a little bit of a problem, Okay, and how you and your person deal with it is a little bit different for each of you. Okay, and you know, because ultimately your conscious thoughts, all right, your conscious thoughts, you're both thinking actually really positively. Okay, your person um, has the messenger coming up here, they're being very guided and protected right now. They have the messenger, which is their spirit guides. Okay, so they are really being very, um, uh, there's a lot of messages coming in. Their intuition is likely at an all-time high. Okay, they are being guided and they are being protected every single step of the way, whatever that happens to mean for your person. Okay, and they may be getting a lot of intuitive hits. <clears throat> they may be, um, you know, really thinking about things a little bit differently. All right, and not really all that surprising when we've got the lover's card coming out there. Okay, this person has been guided towards you. They may actually know it as well. They know that you guys are, that you and your person, um, they know that you two are meant to form a strong bond. And, um, you know, but they may also know that in some cases, you may have that opportunity to stay together for a long time. But in other cases, it may be a little bit of a short time, okay? You are also here in this energy thinking really positively, okay? Um, ultimately, you know that this is soulmate energy as well with the Wheel of Fortune. You know this is part of your destiny. This is where you're meant to be. But you also know with the Wheel of Fortune that you are at the end of a cycle, and that there's a new cycle that is ready to begin. And you are certainly hoping for the best. You're thinking that things are going to work out exactly as they're meant to. Luck is on your side. Um, it's faded energy. This is a faded connection and a faded relationship and a faded situation that you are dealing with. The Wheel of Fortune also brings in that good karma as well. Okay, so you've got a lot of really positive energy on your side to get you through 
<clears throat> okay, and to have yeah, help you find a resolution that is going to carry you forward, okay, whatever that means for you in your particular situation, okay, whether this is, um, you know, whether this is reconciliation, deepening of your commitment, resolution of legal issues, right? Um, those are always fun, aren't they? Okay, um, whatever that is, you've got really a lot of good luck on your side, your person is being very much guided um, in that energy, right? You may feel really lucky in this relationship, and your person may be feeling that deeper bond as well. Okay, so um, your uh, subconscious, okay, your emotions, how are you really feeling about this? Okay, your person has reconciliation, Okay, this is how they're feeling. They're feeling as though they can make it work with you, that they can reconcile with you, that they can get over um, your problems, your challenges, right? Um, resolve any kind of conflict or issues that may um, that may be uh, around you in your relationship, okay? Um, they're feeling remorse, not remorse. They're feeling remorse. They're willing to compromise and work things through. And they may be taking a little bit more of an intellectual approach, Okay, and they may be really wanting to have a conversation. How you're feeling, you're feeling as though there's opportunity for this as well. All right, we've got the page of buttons, which is the page of pentacles. You may be feeling as though there's an additional commitment needed in uh, some way, right? You're, you're really very... Um, um, very upbeat about the whole situation, right? Again, the three of needles, the sadness, okay, this um, issue that you're dealing with is temporary, right? So there is a resolution that is here, whatever that means for you. And the page of buttons is the page of pentacles. You've got a good foundation. You're feeling as though, you know, you have, if you want to make something work, if you want to move forward, then you absolutely can. Remember with the strength card here, okay, there may be a crack in it, but there is ultimately that really strong pillar that is there, okay, and you may be feeling that same way. Now, you may be actually dealing with a, <clears throat> excuse me, again, with that um, possible divorce situation with the page of pentacles here. It may be a workplace situation, something to do with your money, maybe even to do with your children. All right. That needs to be resolved, but you're feeling as though you can resolve this situation. Okay. And you're looking forward to a good outcome. You're looking forward to some good news that puts you back on track, that puts you back on the path. <clears throat> All right. So, um, you know, so, um, you know, no matter what you've got going on, okay, there is, um, you know, some really positive feelings about resolving your issue. The face that you put on for the world, okay, how you, uh, how people are seeing you at the moment. And we do have the eight of cups that is coming out for you. All right. And you may actually be showing people your feelings. You might be talking to your friends. You might be honest with them. Um, you might be letting people see your emotions or see the fact that you are looking to um, move forward or walk away from a current situation should that be you. All right. You're in a period of contemplation and introspection and you may actually come across this way, right? You might be a little bit quieter than normal. Um, you might be in that, um, you know, in that mode where you're not really talking a lot. You might not be being entirely social at the moment either. <clears throat> okay. Especially if you're dealing with, um, you know, um, you know, some heavier energy, right? Emotions, um, you know, emotions are not easy to deal with love. Okay. Even though, um, you know, it can be wonderful, can also be difficult as well. Relationships are complicated, right? There's a lot of things that get in the way. So you might be, um, you know, showing people that you are um, going on this inner journey and that you are doing a lot of thinking, a lot of reflection, and you're showing your, you're showing people your, um, your true feelings, right? You're not necessarily hiding <clears throat> things. All right. And your person is coming out, is coming across. They're, they're showing people their strengths, okay? They're like, no, I got this. I'm in charge, right? I'm taking a leadership role, okay? I'm getting things done. I know that we can um, overcome our challenges, our hurdles. And, you know, I am have this, 
Um, I have this vision of what I want out of the future, right? And I'm willing to make it work and I'm willing to make it happen. Your person could possibly, <clears throat> if you have been in separation with your person, okay, um, it could be that your person has uh, matured, all right? And sometimes, um, sometimes people aren't necessarily ready to make a commitment. Sometimes there's something they need to deal with or sometimes they need to step up. And so your person, the face that they're putting on for the world, at least, okay, is one of strength, maturity, okay, is one of that can-do spirit and that can-do attitude. You may be showing people a little bit more of an emotional side, okay, or with that eight of cups, you may actually be hiding your emotions from the world also, okay, playing your cards a little bit close to your chest in some way. But ultimately, I'm feeling here... Um, with the world here, okay, unfinished business, um, I'm feeling that for the majority of you, okay, whatever situation you're dealing with right now, there's solutions and there's a resolution in sight, okay, the issue that you're dealing with is temporary and I'm feeling that for the majority of you, you can overcome your challenges, remember, there's some guidance there, a spirit guide that is uh, very much by your person's side, guiding them to make the right choices, the, the right decisions, Okay, maybe even helping them see the light and mature a little bit. You, of course, have the Wheel of Fortune on your side and you know it. Lady Justice and Karma is working very much in your favor. And whatever it is that you want to achieve, where whatever direction that you want to go in this relationship, there is a very good, very positive and very balanced outcome for you. Okay, and for some of you, yes, maybe that does mean walking away. Some of you, again, you've already walked away, but, you know, your person may come back to you, right? Because ultimately, you know, you may know that you belong together, right? And so you're just working out some things. You're just working out some issues there, whether they are internal within your relationship or even external that you may be dealing with there as well. And don't forget, you're ready to move forward, right? With that between worlds, okay? Something bright and shiny is on the horizon for you there. <clears throat> okay, so I am going to leave that for you. Uh, yes, I am. I'm going to go here. Sorry, I was just trying to figure out which cards to close out your reading with. And I think I'm going to go over here. So let me see. Last bit of information here for Gemini. Thank you. Got a moon card that came flying out there. <clears throat> so interesting. Um, so I'm just going to clarify a little bit um, this three of needles energy here. What is causing this heartbreak? What is causing this sadness or this issue? The moon. Look at that. That flew out and it also came out here as well. Okay. So when we have the moon here, this is about... Um, romance, it's also about recognition. Okay, we've got the lilies that come out here as well. Um, and we also have the heart. Okay, so ultimately here, okay, the um, there is a peaceful resolution to something that is causing you a little bit of grief. Okay, the moon, um, with the moon, the moon in this deck is not the same as the moon up there. Okay, it's completely different. Okay, um, but it feels as though there's, um, there's a good resolution to a situation, um, happiness and, um, your uh, romantic situation is really um, uh, prevalent in your reading, okay? The cycles of the moon may be very important for you, right? Maybe when some real emotions come to the surface, all right? But ultimately, this moon also means romance. The heart means happiness in all things, okay? Passion, romance, and there's a lot of that in this connection, and you are just looking for a little bit of peace, you're looking for a resolution, and you're looking for a satisfactory outcome here, and it feels as though that's exactly what you're going to get, and then love and romance, and a deeper bond, a deeper connection um, is coming in here for you, okay, so temporary heartbreak um, is there, um, just something that is upsetting the apple cart for the moment, okay, 
So I'm going to leave that there for you guys. All right. Um, and uh, so I hope there was something in this reading that resonated with you in some way. Um, if there was, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I thank you guys so much for watching. I'm, I will hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great month and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.